My name is Skylar Dacey. I'm an outside sales engineer with AAP Automation. I'm Andrew Hanazak, applications engineer and ABB drives expert. And today we're going to be showing you a motor startup parameterization using an ACS 380 VFD from ABB. Um, you can see this has a built-in keypad, but we're actually going to be using the removable keypad. This has an IP66 front face, so you can put it right on the front of your enclosure. And this just connects to the drive with an ethernet cord that you plug into this port right at the top. So now we'll take a closer look at the control pad and I'll show you the steps to get this motor startup. Now we'll go through the parameters for the initial commissioning of the drive. Pop into our menu, parameters, complete list, 99 motor data. And we'll go down the line with the information that's on your motor nameplate. So we have an asynchronous motor. We're gonna do scalar control. There is an option for vector. Vector will give you a tighter speed control. For now, we're gonna stick with scalar. And we'll go down to nominal current. We have a relatively small motor, since it's only a 0.7 amp. Nominal voltage is 230. Frequency, 60 hertz in the US. Nominal speed is 1640. and nominal power. So this is just a 1.5 horsepower. That's all you need to get going and then we can go down to our ID run. We're gonna do a normal. It's important that your motor is not coupled and it will spin so you need to be sure that it's a safe area for you to begin. We'll even get a warning that an ID run is about to begin. We hit start, and it'll take a few minutes to complete. In our example today, we selected scalar motor control. This is the easiest to set up and is typically used for constant load applications such as pumps, compressors, or running at a constant speed. The other option was vector. It's a little bit more complicated, but it is the best for starting high-end torque and for maintaining a tighter speed tolerance. So best applications would be for conveyors, overhead screen, cranes, and dynamic speed applications. The ID run is complete, so we want to check to make sure everything's working properly. First thing we notice is that the control panel is in remote mode. So we want it to be in local, so we go down to this local slash remote button. Now it's ready to get the command from the keypad. And in the upper right corner is your speed reference. So right now we'll put that up to a couple hertz. And then we can hit start. And then you'll be able to adjust your speed on the fly from there. Crank it up. Back down. So all you need to do is go to parameter set 99, input the motor data based on the motor nameplate information, do an ID run, and you're all set. Stay tuned for more videos. If you have any questions or comments, please email us, info at aapautomation.com. Thanks.